What's up, YouTube? It's been a minute, um, and today what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to inspect this motor, see if uh, everything is up to par uh, before we get started on the ser coating. So let's go. We're gonna have Jaden start removing all the tidbits up top. Um, get all the old wiring harness and everything out of the way um, and then we'll go from there this is how it looks very very clean shout out to H Motors for sending us a, a pretty clean motor All right, so we got everything off. Um, now it's time to just clean it up. Um, I think what we're gonna do, use this little Scotch-Brite wheel thing um, for the inside of these little crevices. That didn't last too long. <laughs> Good thing I bought two. I think what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna tape up all this first, all this stuff first, so we don't get crap in there. All right, so now that we taped everything up, um, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna grind off all the rough like um, casting marks and stuff. Uh, I did something over here already. Uh, some of those. Um, that way we get a smoother looking motor, you know? So that's what I'm gonna do now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna scotch bright the whole motor and then um, degrease it. And then try to get rid of um, some of these uh, Honda Bond. This cover, I got a skunk billet one, so I'm just gonna leave that on, that way it's less work. And then I'm going to Cerakote the, the, the cover by itself and then put it together. Let's go. So what we're gonna do is we're doing tungsten on uh, the block. Let's go.
what's up guys it's now the next day the motor is dry already so what we're gonna do now is gonna install the baffling and all of the seals for the valve cover what you would want to do is you know put a little oil on the seal right here just so it slides on a little easier and remember when you install it this face sits up trust me when I say I've screwed up plenty of times <laughs> because of that make sure you don't rip the boots the seals I like to just use my hand to press it in instead of banging it with a hammer because that way you can damage these seals what I like to use is one of these big old 32 millimeter sockets and push it in and you want to use a 32 millimeter because it stops right at the lip right here all right it's good Just like that. Alright, now trick of the trade. What you guys want to do is just put a piece of a Honda Bond underneath each one of these bolts. That way. they don't fall out and into your cams. I like putting it under the bolt as opposed to tightening the bolt and then putting it on top. It just seems very ghetto to me. All right, that's it. Now we can put this back on and then install the Skunk 2 hardware. Alright guys, that's it for today's episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the tungsten color. Um, for the water pump and the transmission, I, I ran out of uh, the tungsten so I gotta order some more. We'll finish that on another episode of the Ballistic EK build. If you guys like the, today's video, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. You know, it doesn't cost you anything, but you know, it also gives me motivation to continue. And on a side note, I'm gonna leave you guys with a cliffhanger of the next episode. Peace out. I love you guys. Later. time to unload this bitch get to work tomorrow <laughs>